Hey ladies and gentlemen, today we'll talk about the 7th Panzer Division, also known as the Ghost Division, but first, if you'd like to follow my socials, it will appear now on screen. Anyway, let's get started. The 7th Panzer Division was an armored formation used by Germany during the Second World War, active from the 18th of October 1939 until the 8th of May 1945. But why was the 7th Panzer Division so famous that even bands make songs about them? Today we'll uncover that. This video will mainly be focused on the Western Front, but maybe in the future I will do the Eastern Front as well. It depends on how well the video gets received. If this video can get 10 likes, I will do part 2. But before we start talking about the Western Front in detail, I will tell you guys about the 7th Panzer Division in highlights. It first saw action in 1940 at the Western Front against Belgium and France, and then again in the Eastern Front in 1941. In May 1942 it was sent back to France to replace the losses, and was sent back to southern Russia after the defeat in Stalingrad at 2 February 1943. The division fought in several unsuccessful offenses at Kursk in the summer of 1943, suffering heavy casualties in men and equipment and was further degraded by the Soviet counter-offense. Through 1944 and 1945 the division was markedly under strength and continuously engaged in a series of defensive battles across the Eastern Front. It was twice evacuated by sea, leaving most what's left of the heavy equipment behind each time. After fighting defensively across Prussia and northern Germany, the surviving men escaped into the forest and surrendered to the British Army northwest of Berlin in May 1945. These are the highlights, but now let's take a look at what made them famous into more depth. The Western Offense. When the invasion began, the 7th Panzer Division was under command of Aaron Rommel. They pressed with three other divisions under the command of Heinz Guderian. They reached the River the Meuse after only three days, but found that all the bridges were destroyed. Rommel really wanted to make the crossing, but was unsuccessful due to the suppressive fire from the French. By the 16th of May, the division reached its target, a town in northern France called Evenes. They were supposed to wait there for further orders, but Rommel decided to press on further. On the 20th of May, they reached the town of Arras, and it was guarded by British garrisons. They tried to isolate the British garrisons, but the next day the British went for a counter-offensive with the Matilda tanks. The 37mm anti-tank guns tried their luck against the armor of the Matildas, but seemed ineffective. The 25th Panzer Regiment and a battery of 88mm anti-aircraft guns were called in as support, and the British withdrew. On the 24th of May, Hitler issued a halt order. The reason for this decision is still a matter of debate. He may have overestimated the size of the British forces in the area, or he may have wished to reserve the bulk of armor for the drive to Paris. This order was only lifted two days later. The 27th, they reached Lille. For the assault, Hermann Hof placed the 5th Panzer Division also under Rommel's command. The siege of Lille continued for four days. That was when 40,000 French garrisons surrendered. The division on June 5th assumed its advance and drove for the river Seille to secure the bridges near Rhone, advancing 100 kilometers in only two days. The division reached Rhone only to find all the bridges destroyed. From there they moved north, blocking the westward route to Le Havre and Operation Cycle Evacuations and forcing 10,000 men to surrender on June 12th. On the 17th of June, the division was ordered to advance to Cherbourg Naval Base, where the additional British evacuations were underway. The division advanced 240 kilometers in only 24 hours, and after two days of shelling, the French garrison surrendered on the 19th of June. The speed and the surprise it was constantly able to achieve to the point where both the enemy and the OKH at times lost track of its whereabouts, earned the division the name The Ghost Division. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one. Again, 10 likes on this video for a part 2.